Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and in this video we're actually going to benchmark the Sony Xperia Z, or Z, depending on where you are in the world. And today we're going to use two benchmarking tools, Antutu and Quadrant. So, let's check them out. So yeah, the first window is Antutu, and just to show you that nothing's running in the background, it is completely uh, clear. So it should go into Antutu. And uh, let's see what kind of benchmarks this bad boy can pull in. So I'll just close that. So here we go, as you can see I've run it before but I've actually cleared the tests out there uh, just so obviously I didn't show the score on screen here. And look, oh, be ready for the show, yes Galaxy S4. Anyway, let's start the test, let's do its thing, we're going to speed this part of the video up and put some weird kind of music with it, we'll soon see. Anyway, be right back. Right, so welcome after the test, and as you can see there, it's got a total score of 20,467. Uh, submit that. You can probably get a better score now. Um, there we go. So we're officially number 151441. And when you compare it up to some of the beasts on the market today, obviously it's not getting close to some of them, but it's getting close enough to some of them. As you can see, some have got like 26,000. This is at 20, just over, just over 20, so it's not too far off the map. Up to the ones in the similar bracket, these obviously look like some are running uh, custom ROMs, or yeah, custom kernels anyway. Obviously 1.7 GHz, it's a 1.5 GHz quad core, it's actually the uh, stock. As you can see, they're all very similar, you know, even some running very similar scores to me. So yeah, that's on 2-2, and again we get the score of, go back to the home one, 20,467. So, next one we're going to try is going to be Quadrant, and just again, just to make it fair, close that one out of there, it's got a Quadrant, let's run this full benchmark, and once again, we'll be right back once it's finished. Right, so Quadrant is officially finished, yes, we'll summit those, and wa bang, we're getting is it 7,000? There we go, 7,975, so just under the 8,000 mark. And if you consider it up to, like, say, some of last year's kind of devices, it just trounced those. Now, obviously, up to some of the devices in the market now, they've got similar processors, um, it's pretty much kind of in the ballpark of around 8,000. Um, I believe some other devices will be, obviously, with newer chipsets. But yeah, that's it. That's Quadrant and also Antutu on the Xperia Z, or Z, however you want to say it. Anything else you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, all the kind of good social links. And subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Anyway, people, don't forget to leave that thumbs up if you do appreciate my videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers, everyone.